Hey there, fellow brick lovers. It's your friendly neighborhood Lego fan, here to talk to you today about something that's been bothering me for a while now. As much as I love Lego Marvel sets, I have to admit that they've been getting worse over time. And I'm not just talking about the occasional thick Thanos. <coughs> the sets themselves have been lacking in a lot of areas. So, sit back, relax, and let's dive in. First off, let's talk about the minifigs. Or remember the good old days when you could get a LEGO Marvel set and it would come with a bunch of awesome minifigs? Now we're lucky if we get one or two minifigs with leg printing in a set. I mean, come on, LEGO, do we really need to spend an arm and a leg just to get a decent minifig? Another issue with the newer LEGO Marvel sets is the rehashes. It seems like every other set is just a rehash of an older set with a few minor changes. I mean, how many different versions of Spider-Man's hideout do we really need? And don't even get me started on the endless variations of Iron Man's armory. We get it, LEGO, you can make a ton of different armories, but can we get some more variety in the sets, please? Finally, let's talk about the price. It seems like the newer LEGO Marvel sets are just getting more and more expensive. Paying $90 for a glass wall facade, or $500 for a bigger version of something we have gotten a million times. Come on, LEGO, give us some more bang for our buck. So, there you have it, folks. LEGO Marvel sets have been getting worse over time. But don't get me wrong, I still love these sets. There's still a lot of fun to build and play with, and there's nothing quite like having your favorite Marvel characters in LEGO form. But, there's definitely room for improvement. Maybe LEGO can take a page out of their own book and start making sets as good as they used to. Or, maybe they can surprise us with something even better. Until then, we'll just have to settle for what we've got. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.